Recently, we showcased Jules by Google, an asynchronous coding agent that is completely free. Jules autonomously reads your code, writes tests, fixes bugs, and more. It works asynchronously, meaning it can handle tasks in the background while you continue coding, making development faster and efficient. The issue is, while Jules still offers a free tier, Google has introduced a subscription plan, effectively putting many of its features behind a paywall. On top of that, Jules primarily uses Gemini 2.5 Pro, which isn't always the best for coding, especially with newer and stronger options available like Claude Opus 4.1 or even GPT-5, which are now all fully available. That's why today I want to showcase a fully free alternative to Jules called Open Sway by Langchain, which is essentially an open source replica of Jules. Open Sway is an asynchronous coding agent built with Langgraph. It can autonomously understand your entire code base, plan solutions, and execute code changes across your repository, from initial planning all the way to opening pull requests. And the best part is, it's locally available, which lets you bring your own API. And if you don't have the funds for an API, you can either use OpenRouter as a free provider, or you can use Olama, where you can locally host these models without paying for any API costs. OpenSway also lets you connect directly with GitHub repositories, takes tasks from issues or custom UI, researches the code base, creates execution plans, writes and tests code, and reviews its own work and opens pull requests, exactly how Jules does. To use OpenSway, you have the ability to access it through their cloud server, or you can use it locally by installing it with your computer. This is where you can clone the repo, install the dependencies, and access OpenSway locally. You would use it exactly like how you would with Jules, where you can simply specify what you want to do, and then you can send in the prompt within the repository that you wanted to work in. You can also have it create a new repo because it's linked to your GitHub. And right away, you can see that it's going to deploy the planning agent to work on deploying this task. It's also able to make sure that it includes and opens up requests within the actual GitHub repository that you have created. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. But before we move on and showcase how to install this locally, I'm going to go ahead and have it showcase a demo of it creating a calendar app where it goes ahead and creates a sandbox, clones the repository, and checks out the branch. And you can see that it is going to reason, use the planning and execution agent to work on executing this task. And you can see that it is going through all the different branches a part of my repo. It is actually showing the reasoning as well as the tools it's using. And then afterwards, it's going to be able to complete the task and show the visualization directly within this terminal. Now, it looks like it has finished generating the actual script or the proposed plan. And once you agree with this proposed plan, you can go ahead and click on continue. If not, you can edit directly within the workflow itself. But now it's going to go ahead and execute this task. It is planning the progress. It looks like there's seven different tasks planned, and it's going to work thoroughly on completing each of them and upload it to GitHub autonomously. And the intelligence of this Sway agent is pretty impressive because I already had another agent that had a pull request on creating this calendar app, which had already started working on creating the index HTML. And this agent was able to pick up that pull request that was already updated on the actual GitHub repository. And it's able to now focus on completing this task by keeping that prior context that it had due to its reasoning capabilities. What's nice is that you can actually review through the task list and you can see the progress it's making as well as seeing the summary of what it has actually completed. Right now, it is implementing the core JavaScript functionality and that is the task that is enhanced right now of the AI agent. And what's cool is that if you hover over the model list, it will showcase the token usage, the amount of input tokens, output, and the total cost that was incurred for this current generation which is pretty cool. And in this case, you can see due to cash saving, you're going to be able to save a lot as well as save in terms of its expenditure. Even if you're using something like Claude as an API, 
obviously, if you're going to be using it locally, you have so many different options of using local models, which makes this whole process completely free. And after it has finished completing all the tasks, it's going to analyze the code. So this is another agent that is deployed by OpenSway, and it's going to be able to thoroughly look through the progress of whatever was completed and then work on implementing changes if needed and fix any sort of errors. And there we go. We have our very basic calendar app that it was capable of generating. We have the ability to add new events and it will be then displayed within the ca uh, actual calendar itself. You can edit the event. You can also delete certain things, but that was something that it was capable of generating quite quickly. Now, if you're interested in installing this locally, it's super simple. Just make sure you have the prerequisites fulfilled. Make sure you have Git installed to clone the repo locally. Make sure you have an IDE. You can use VS Code. You can use something like Cursor or Windsurf to configure certain components like the backend for the environment variables. You can also get a free API key from OpenRouter, like I stated at the start, or locally host the model so you don't need to pay for anything. Or you can simply just use your own provider, like something from Anthropic or from OpenAI. But once you have those prerequisites fulfilled, you want to head over to the docs, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Go ahead and copy this git clone command and open up your command prompt and paste in this command and click enter. This will clone open uh, Sway onto your computer. Once that has been cloned, you can type in cd open Sway. And then what you want to do is install the dependencies with the yarn command. So paste this in and click enter. This will install it locally onto your computer by unpacking all the packages. Next, what you want to do is after it finishes installing, go ahead and open up your IDE. Once you have that opened, you can then go ahead and set up the environment files. That's by copying the environment example files. So you want to go ahead and copy the web app environment file as well as the agent environment files. Both of these two are different things. You want to simply go ahead and copy and paste it within your command prompt because we're going to be configuring both of these two different files separately. The web app environment variables is going to consist of the LangGraph API, next public API, as well as the GitHub app client, so that you can then deploy all the changes to GitHub locally. Now, the agent environment variables is where you can set the LM providers. You can also set different tools like Firecrawl, as well as for the infrastructure. And then you can also have it so that you can configure this so it uses a local model provider do so, just simply go ahead and maybe even prompt up Klein or your coding agent to configure the backend to use Olama or something like OpenRouter as an API key provider. After the environments have been fulfilled, you want to create the GitHub app. This is where you want to go over to this page, which is the GitHub app creation page, fill out the basic information, configure the OAuth settings. Then you want to set up the webhook, which is where you can install ngrok if you haven't already. And then once that is done, you can use the URL and generate and save the value as this, and then add this to the GitHub Web Hub secret within the actual de destination where you have your environment variable. And after you have created the GitHub app, you can then collect the information for the following variables and then paste it into the environment variable file. Then you can go into your terminal and start the LangGraph agent first using the yarn dev command. And then you can also use terminal tool to start the web application this is where this is going to first start the LangGraph agent and the second one is going to start the web application and then you can access it off your local host. So I'm going to go ahead and first start the actual uh, LangGraph agent and then I'm going to start the web application. And there we go. Just like that, we have it running locally on our computer and you can see that it's actually connected to the test MCP repo that I was working on initially. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on OpenSway. This is an impressive open source alternative to Jules and it has almost all the different features that Jules actually has while being open source and a local option. I'll make sure to leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But with that thought, guys, make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, as well as the Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.